What is going on guys? Welcome back to a, another build video. This build video is called the Trollcanist and that's exactly what it does. It, that's what it's, um, exactly what it does and it says on the tin. It is just a troll build and it is literally just abusing um, the seal uh, Pragmatic Fake Carver. Um, you'll be doing super, super high damage with this. It's a uh, one bar build and it hits uh, super strong, you're going to get up to like 35k pen uh, so we'll jump straight into the uh, sets we are running a uh, witch knight uh, lightning staff uh, sharpened with a weapon damage enchantment uh, witch knight we're only running four pieces just for the three lines of weapon and spell damage we're running a light battle guys uh, max magicka enchantment on everything and divines on everything if you can uh, the chest is uh, shattered fate so we're running five pieces of shattered fate for the 8000 offensive penetration bonus uh, medium balorg arm corpse uh, waist is shattered fate hand shattered fate leg shattered fate uh, feet shattered fate uh, the neck and the ring of witch knight and the oaken soul is infused with weapon damage and so are them all, all jewelry infused and weapon damage so the skills is the rune of the colorless pool this is your stun and cc it also afflicts them with minor brittle and minor vulnerability and we've got the flail which is the tentacle arms uh, this uh, generates crux and when they are drenched in it they're going to take 5% more damage it also heals you, deals physical damage, it immobilizes them and of course the bread and butter of the build which is the pragmatic fate carver uh, this is going to hit incredibly hard um, and you also get a large damage shield it consumes all your crux so if you've got enough crux then hit this uh, evolving rune melt is basically your heal each active crux reduces the cost of this ability so again generate the crux this is a bit of a flex spot um, but I've put on inspired scholarship as this is going to just enhance your class abilities dealing additional magic damage uh, the major brutality and sorcery isn't required as you get with the oaken soul uh, we've got the Tide King's Gaze, which hits again super hard. Um, a very good ultimate. Uh, so the reasoning for the skills is I'm trying to fit on as much as possible from this line. As with this passive, you will get more penetration per each one slotted. So that's why I'm running that ultimate. Um, inspired Scholarship, the Fate Carver, and the Flail. So most ones are coming from this uh, skill line. Uh, these are the stats unbuffed. Uh, we've got 31k health, uh, nearly 23.5k magicka, 19.5k stamina. Um, I'll show you the recoveries and it all buffed in a sec. Uh, the weapon spell damage flat is 5.5k, 25% spell critical, nearly got 21 over 21k spell uh, penetration. With that, you know this is flat as well. Resistance isn't critical damage are very very low but I'll explain everything uh, we're running bewitched sugar skulls uh, vampire stage 3 if you can, mine's just dropped off and the love of more penetration I'm running a and the race show you the race I'm running dark elf, uh, just a damage race will do but any race will do to be honest don't worry too much Critical damage isn't that high, but um, we're just more stacking into penetration, and it's it's, it's going to hit super hard anyway. Um, you're getting the minor brittle and other sources of critical damage, so it's probably going to be around 80% critical damage. Still pretty nice. Uh, champion points running uh, master at arms, uh, deadly aim, and resilience. Um, but if you want to go even crazier, you can just slot all damage ones, so you can go fighting finesse, um, or raffle strikes, 
Um, probably take resilience off because obviously it's just, this is just building into pure damage for a troll build, and I'll explain everything anyway. And uh, red CP is just your boundless vitality fortified. Uh, uh, probably put on rejuvenation. And Payne's Refuge is always quite nice, or again, a sustained one. Uh, so I'll explain the build, uh, well, I'll just show the uh, stats all buffed first. Oh, it's in the wrong buttons. So make sure you've got your crux. If I hit the weapon damage enchantment there. So you get any 7,000 weapon spell damage, you get 33k penetration, uh, you get 1300 stamina recovery, magic recovery is nearly 1100. Uh, so you're going to hit super, super hard. So um, don't worry about the damage. But um, so the whole point of this build, uh, the whole point of the build is just to maximise uh, how hard uh, the fake carver's hitting. Um, so you're just emphasising around that um, you are very squishy so this is a disclaimer here um, the negatives of the build it's very squishy it's just this is just a super fun build to play um, it's just maximising the fake carver and abusing it um, you will die a lot but you will kill a lot of people and upset a lot of people especially them meta boys because you're gonna the beam's gonna hit so hard it's just gonna cut through absolutely everyone so that's just the, the disclaimer there so it's, it's just a fun troll build and that's why I've called it a troll build because um, when people die and they look at the tooltip they're going to see huge huge numbers and they're going to think oh nerf fake carver it's awful it is being nerfed anyway unfortunately it's only a small nerf I think it's a 7% damage per tick so it's still going to hit super hard next patch it's just been um, nerfed just a little bit so it is super super strong at the moment but you can abuse that until the patch drops but it's still going to be I think it's still going to be pretty strong to be honest um, so like I said that's why everything is uh, just emphasized on uh, there's no sustain basically it's just all infused uh, all divines to maximize everything all max magicka uh, we've got weapon damage and charm, just everything just, just to boost that damage and penetration basically. Um, and you would think, oh, it's going to be rubbish. It's not rubbish at all. It's, it's really fun. Like I said, you do die a lot, obviously, because, um, well, you don't die as much as you think you would, even though you're running, you know, nothing into uh, resistances or sustain. But it is, um, it's not too bad as you'll see in the game clips. It's a lot of fun to play. So how you would play it is that you would um, buff up with your heal and your, I forget what that skill is called now, you'd buff up with these two, so your Revolving Room Elmed Inspired Scholarship. So you just buff up with them two before you come into combat. Press X to do Rune of the Colors pool so you would CC them. Just get a heavy attack in and just uh, spam your flails until you've got enough of the fake carver maxed out and then just beam away. It's going to hit pretty up because your penetration's high anyway. Even without the battle proc, it's going to hit pretty hard. Um, so you're just waiting to get that up. Basically, just dancing around people, annoying people, and then when you've got your crux already, drop that X to CC him, and then drop your ultimate, and then fake carver. And as you can see, you're going to get crazy, crazy high numbers. It really, really rips through people. Just be careful of people obviously bashing you. Um, that is when you're going to be vulnerable but um, the reason you can get away with such high damage um, and not building anything into resistances is because the fake carver gives you a fairly large damage shield so you can take a little bit before you go down but the beam is so strong people would just run away to be honest and they really don't want to deal with you because it's just um, you can really lay on the pressure um, because it is just so, so damaging. Real fun in Battlegrounds. You know, like I said, you will die a lot, obviously, because you're squishy. Um, I did put it all into health. I didn't actually say that. 64 points into health. You could go crazier and put it all into Magicka. I just feel like um, you do want a little bit of health just to just to keep you going a little bit. But um, it's just, this is just a fun troll build. It's just to abuse... Uh, fake carver um, 
Like I said, it's good, good fun. Um, and we said with the battle, you said the penetration will just go through the roof, and the fake carver is just going to cut through everyone. Um, just try and be accurate with your beams if you can. Make sure you put your three crux. Like you said, you're just jumping around, avoiding people, and then when you're ready, you just come in with a CC ultimate, and then beat away. People do not like taking it. You'll get a lot of hate messages and uh, people upset and angry because people hate the fake carver. You know, even I do sometimes, but it's, it is definitely fun to play doing a super strong beam. Um, just enjoy the build. Don't take it too seriously. It's not meant to be a serious build, um, but it is a lot of fun in uh, Battlegrounds, that's for sure. Um, but like I said, the resistances are low, but like I said, the shield is, as long as you're, you're constantly beaming, basically. You know, keep your buffs up, you know, get them crux ready, you know. But you, by, most of the time you want to be beaming, you know. You've got your tri-stat potions to give you a bit of a uh, recovery, because we're getting the recoveries are low. Um, I don't find it too bad, just drop in the odd heavy attack, um, as you'll crop the weapon damage enchantment, and just keep your beams up. Keep that shield up, you know, roll out of the way, beam again, and you're just you're just keeping that up. Um, it really does add some pressure, and uh, it's really abusing the uh, Prigmatic Fake Carver. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the build, guys. I don't think I've missed anything. As I said, you get tons of buffs from the Oaken Soul, so, you know, you do have a lot of uh, things to protect you anyway. Um, you get minor protection and other stuff. Um, but yeah, I think the, uh, you know, you've got plenty of weapon damage from running the Witch Knight, you've got plenty of penetration, you've got reasonably high crit damage, um, and it, yeah, it's just like a little trolley build, um, it really, like I said, you'll see in the game clips, it really cuts through people and really mucks everyone's day up, um, so yeah, that's the build guys, um, just go over the passives, make sure you have all your passives in the, cl in the class, and um, three lines of the class. Uh, all your passives in Destruction Staff. The reason I've used Lightning Staff as well is because the Lightning Staff um, it increases the damage done with direct damage and channeled effects. Um, so it is a bit, you can use it Flame Staff as well because it is um, similar. I think um, the Fate Carver is classed as a channel and the damage over time so it's a bit tricky so I think the flame and lightning buffs both of these so it's really just preference really I just like the lightning staff as it's uh, just seems a bit easier to heavy attack um, but it's really up to you um, yep just make sure you have your light medium I don't know if I've got heavy armor just double check I don't think I have no just so make sure you have your light and medium passives your vampire uh, undeath passive, so stage 3, just to make you a little bit more tankier. Uh, Undaunted if you can, then passives, your assault and support lines if you can. Um, and so this one's really good, um, I always forget about this one, that um, if you get that combat frenzy every time you kill someone, because you're going to be killing people pretty quickly, it's going to give you plenty of ultimate just to keep on beaming and doing more damage. Um, so yeah, like I said, you get quite a high uptime when you're killing people of the uh, ultimate because the ultimate's not very expensive. So it's only 184, so you'll be getting that quite a lot. Um, but it's good fun just to see everyone get absolutely melted, um, and it really, really upsets a lot of people. Um, and also make sure you have obviously your racial passives and obviously your alchemy medicinal use to make your potions a bit stronger. Um, but I said, um, I said this is built purely just for crazy, crazy damage. I mean, if you wanted to make it a bit more of a, a viable build, you know, to actually, you know, have a bit more defence, you want to probably put reinforced on everything on their bigger pieces and impenetrable on the smaller pieces, and maybe chuck on an, a recovery glyph. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is just a super fun trolley build. Glass cannon, you know, that's that's probably the correct phrase. It's a glass cannon beam build. And I'm just packing in tons and tons of damage. So I hope everyone enjoys the build. Um, the clips are super funny. Um, 
and it's just yeah, it's just real fun to play. Like I said, unfortunately, it's being nerfed the next patch, which is very soon. But I would imagine it's still going to be pretty strong. They're just dropping the ticks by like seven percent. It's nothing crazy. Um, it's just being adjusted because it is. This is just this build just showcases how strong that fake carver really, really hits and what damage you can really pack in. Um, so yeah, that's the build, guys. Um, drop this video a like if you enjoy it. Um, and just let me know in the comments if anyone's tried it and if they've had a lot of fun I'm sure you will and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I've got lots of builds and guides coming plenty more coming I've done quite a lot already but I've got plenty more to come I won't be stopping anytime soon um, I've also got membership as well if you want to uh, subscribe to my membership it's not much money and you'll get uh, access to the builds just a little bit quicker uh, there's a little exclusive perk there um, yep, and that's it guys, that's the video done, and I'll see you in the next one.